All right, the first thing that we're going to be doing for this course is create a folder to place all of our images. So on your desktop, you want to create a digital photography folder. Inside that folder, you're going to be creating what's called the master folder. Each and every time that you um, take pictures throughout this semester, you'll be placing those images within the master folder. And then when you create new projects, you'll be um, introducing new folders within digital photography. You'll then copy these particular images and place them into that folder. Okay, so the master folder are images that you do not want to touch. Okay, so that's um, the first step to which you're going to be working with. Um, once you've done that, we are then going to be using a file browser program called Adobe Bridge. Um, open that for the very first time and uh, place that into the dock. We'll be using that each and every single time. You'll notice that as you open Adobe Bridge for the very first time, there's a lot of information that's taking place here. But it's pretty simple in that it works in three um, sections. On the far left-hand section here, we have two tabs for our favorites and folders. Um, our favorites and folders um, are kind of interchangeable. Your folders is basically allows you to see everything that's on your desktop or on your computer. So on the desktop, I have my digital photography folder and my master folder here. Um, the center section here talks about the content in each of these folders. So inside the master, I have some of these images that are um, shown. And then on the far right is the preview. So it gives you a larger image um, of that particular content image. Um, another way that you can work with this is clicking on the favorites tab, um, going into your desktop, choosing particular folders like the master folder that we'll be using all the time and you can just simply drag that there and just simply one click and you have um, that particular image. In the very bottom here you can even increase or decrease the size of the content thumbnails. You can also use the command minus or command plus to make those um, content images larger or smaller. Uh, the great thing with Adobe Bridge, it also allows you an opportunity to look at all of the actual information about these pictures and it categorizes each of the images within the folder. In addition to that, um, it allows you an opportunity to see um, your images in a whole range of different ways. This one is called Film Strip. You can even hit the output section and look at it in preview mode so you can view this larger. Or you could just set up your viewing as you see fit by dragging these areas here. You can even close certain tabs that you don't necessarily use or look at. Um, so it's a, it's a very individual driven type of program. So next stage when you're working with this is uh, downloading information. Um, you'll notice that right here there is a little teeny card that has your photo downloader. Um, so if you plug in your SD card, this particular um, dialog box will open up. It also allows you an opportunity to choose um, a location where you want the images to be um, dropped into. So since we are working in digital photography in our master folder, we just need to set this up one time. We can even create subfolders or no folders for that matter. We can even um, put our own copyright information here. So every time that you plug in your SD card, you can then at this stage um, have it automatically placed into your master folder. So this is another added advantage for um, Adobe Bridge.